like a witness protection here with the uh, together. Yeah, yeah. Just now I guess having, you know, a week of being back, how, how are you feeling and how do you feel like this week has gone for you? Yeah, I'm glad to be back. <laughs> uh, to start that off, glad to be back. But we lost one game. I was trying to go undefeated for the first week. <laughs> I, I felt like that was that was that was a goal of mine, but you know, we're still we're still getting the groove, we're still figuring it out. And uh, you know, it's just been a blast to be back in the rotation, still winning and having fun. What'd you pick up just sitting and watching? What I pick up? Yeah. How I would say how hard, you know, the the guys that get their opportunity, how hard they go. You know, because growing up, I mean, being raised in this, you, you kind of look at it as like, this is just a part of it. But when you actually like have to sit down and see see people go hard, it's a, it's a blessing to be in a place like this just because you got everybody wanting the main goal, and that's the win. What, what does it say about those bench guys that you said, like, everybody picked it up? But it's going to be a tough problem to have when you're on a stretch here. Like, how do you put all those pieces on it? That's a spoke question. <laughs> That's not my question. That's well, a spoke question. Watching, so like, yeah, yeah. You know? uh, to, to me, Spoke's been doing a great job with like you know, facilitating minutes and putting dudes in the right position and for them to be successful. But I, I feel like the biggest thing, everybody's all in, and I feel like that makes it easier for all of us. You know, um, guys coming back, got to get back in the rotation, got to get back in, get back in the groove, and I feel like everybody's buying in. At the end of the day, we all benefit from winning, so I feel like that's our mindset. How was it having Tyler back today? It was good to see T out there today. I forgot he left. Uh, but <laughs> actually, I miss the outfits. I will say that. That's one thing I notice when Tyler's here. You see the fit. But great having him back, great having that type of energy, that type of, type of mindset, type of skill back on the court. Have you realized yourself at all mm -hmm. to think about you know, you, you, Tyler, Kyle, and Jimmy all together, like, or you just can't because it's such a unpredictable season. Like, if you allowed yourself to think what that could be, because it's been pretty good already so far. We, we, we have a lot of locker room discussion about it, but first thing first, everybody got to get healthy and, you know, get in the right mindset so then we can go out there and actually produce. Kind of going off that, I know it's early and I know it doesn't really matter, but when you see Miami Heat atop the Eastern Conference standings, there's got to be so much pride that comes with that just based off the way you guys have, how you got them. Yeah, it was just through grit and grind, in my opinion. You know, a lot of guys are, you know, undrafted and uh, overlooked, and we coming in in the number one spot. So it's one of those things where it's gratitude, it's grateful, but also a lot of these dudes work for that. And, uh, you know, we take pride in that. How impressed are you with that? You mentioned, you know, the guys that have undrafted, you know, and diamonds in the rough, and you guys are kind of making the stars. Just talk about the heat development program and how been working so well over the years. We can go way back to UD. It, it, it's, uh, it's, it's, a, it, it's the dog pound mindset. And, uh, you know, we want everybody to be successful. And that's how the whole organization thinks. Once you come in here, we want you to be successful. We want you to be the best version of yourself. And I feel like that's why a lot of dudes are being so successful with our, with our opportunity, because they get to beat ourselves. And, you know, coaches allowing us to play and just, be creative and you know figure it out on our own. You guys have been especially good at home this year, 16 and five so far. Is there anything you noticed that you know maybe playing in front of a, a full arena, just you know getting a chance to be comfortable at home that you guys that you, you guys a boost? Definitely, the six man is our crowd. I will say that it, it, it's a different it's a different energy when we get in there in front of our in front of our fans and around the fourth they play the what's the what's the song. Papas, papayas, pepes. Yes, that right there get the crowd going. Nah, I, I like that. I like. We need to keep that song. You guys pumping in practice or what? We we do actually. We do actually every once in a while. We will bump it. The uh, the All Star returns are later this week. I think it's the last fan vote. Will you be watching or monitoring who's in that? And does that matter to you guys? Do you want something for you guys to have a representative? Yeah. I, I, I hope Tyler gets in. I, I really, I really think Tyler's having a, a All-Star caliber year, and you know that's in my opinion. The whole organization thinks it. Him and Jimmy, and Kyle. You know, I think I missed too many games, but we'll see what happens. 
Uh, but yeah, those three for sure. You know, I feel like they they get that nod, and you know, the number one nod is T. Pictures of their videos. Talk about that special bond that you guys are building and have been building as a season. We got a great group of guys in our locker room. I'll be completely honest. We, we just have the, we're, we're blessed with one of those groups where it's easy for everybody to get along with one another because we're, we're, we're such an, we have such, I don't know the word, like uh, common hobbies. I will say so. So it's he ain't got that, but it's uh it's easy for all of us to you know jail when everybody has something in common. Everybody knows each other from like another team, or you know we got a lot of vets. So a lot of us been in the league together for a long time. We don't get to see uh, you know, Vic work too much, but you know, was there any, I guess, from you seeing if you had to rehab from an injury, just seeing kind of the work that he's put back and you know, you know, how excited you'll be whenever that does come? Yeah. He He's itching to get back. He, he's one of those guys, he's really determined to, you know, be as best as he possibly can for us and uh, actually impact winning. I feel like he's going to be a great addition to this team when he gets back. And we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, you know, he's starting to be in practice a lot more. We're starting to hear his voice. He's starting to get acclimated with the plays and and running in transition. So when he when, when he's able to suit up, it's gonna be it's gonna be a big day for all of us. Sam, I want to ask you tomorrow is the anniversary of Kobe's death. Does that feel real? And because Bo was talking about things, he just hears you guys talking about him in the locker room all the time. It it still feels unreal to me. Cause I, I, you know, growing up I was always a Kobe fan, so it still it still feels unreal. Uh, you know, I always send out, you know, condolences to his family and you know everybody impacted throughout that that event. Um, you know, but we're just it's one of those things you you think about all day and you still can't believe it happened. And uh, I don't think anybody will still like actually process that he's gone. Uh, you know, we got so many videos of, you know, wise words, uh, him impacting, you know, women's sports and just just being a big advocate for that, you know. So we, we have so much things that Kobe has done that we can always look back on. So it feels like he's never gone. Thank you, man. Five lives matter, people. Thank you. Yep, yep.